Section 25 of An Alphabet of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kim K. G. An Alphabet of History by Wilbert D. Nesbitt. Eve Toe. There was a king of Eve Toe, and easy was his head. Serene as rest, not would suggest the word so often said, that crowned heads are not peaceful. He never wore a frown. He laughed away the night and day with gaily tilted crown. The jester of his palace was never forced to work. He never had to make things glad with oily smile and smirk. This jolly king of Eve Toe had no need of his fool. He made his own jests from the throne, and pleasure was his rule. He never had a quarrel with any other king. Why should we fight? he asked. Delight is such an easy thing. He told no one his troubles. In truth, he reigned so well, no one could know, in fair Evto, of troubles fit to tell. The little realm of Evto, a wee spot on the map, has made a name secure in fame because of this rare chap who put his crown on sideways and lolled upon his throne with sceptre set so that it met his active funny bone he was to war a stranger his kingdom had no debt each of his laws possessed a clause that barred out care and fret tis told that when expiring he wasted his last breath in one long laugh in life's behalf and thus went to his death. There was a king of Yvto. There are such kings today. They never sigh for things gone by, but laugh along the way. So crown yourself with laughter, put pleasure on the throne, and you'll possess, in happiness, an Yvto of your own. End of section 25. Recording by Kim K. G.